Good afternoon, everybody. How are you? Today, we are going to talk about sample size calculation. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Okay. Maybe I need to move this a little bit lower. And read it. Okay, the uh, population standard deviation in the height of basketball players is three inches. That's a population standard deviation. If we want to be 95% confident that the sample mean is within one inch of the population mean, then how many randomly selected basketball players should be surveyed? So, solution. Sample size formula. Sample size formula. Formula. Okay. N is equal to Z alpha by 2 multiplied by sigma divided by margin of error. So Z alpha by 2 is critical value of Z value of Z. Okay. Sigma is population standard deviation. Deviation. And E is equal to margin of error. Margin of error. Okay, and that is equal to sample mean minus population mean. Sample mean minus population mean. Okay, now how do I get the critical value of Z? My C level is confidence level. Confidence level. In this case, is 0 0.95. And alpha is significance level. Of, it's a complement of the confidence level. So, is 1 minus C. Is 1 minus 0 0.95. Is 0 0.05 in this case. Okay. So, if I draw a standard normal distribution. The center Z is equal to zero where the peak is the highest. And so this is a standard normal distribution. Standard normal distribution. For confidence level calculation, the area in the center is the C, in this case 0 0.95. Okay. So this is the area. so area in two tails. Two tails is equal to one minus zero point nine five, which is zero point zero five, and that is equal to alpha. We already showed that. So because of symmetry, symmetry means the left half is equal to symmetry in the standard normal curve. Standard normal curve. Area in each tail is equal to alpha by 2 or 0 0.05 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.025. That means this area and this area, they are both same. Both are equal to alpha by 2, in this case 0 0.025. And this area is also alpha by 2. Alpha by 2 is equal to 0 
why do I need this area in the left here? Because this way I can calculate minus Z alpha by two. This Z alpha by two is called critical value because it will separate the tail region from the center, from the confidence region. Okay, that's why it's called a critical region. So how do I find? So that is minus Z alpha by two and this is Z alpha by two. Notice the area to the left of minus Z alpha by two in the left tail is alpha by two and Z alpha by two area to in the to the right of it in the right tail is also alpha by two. That is the way they're uh, the noting. The uh, symbols work. Alpha by two minus Z alpha by two means area to the left of it is alpha by two. Positive Z alpha by two means the area to the right of it is alpha by two. So go to press second, then verse, then scroll down to in now. Type for area in the left tail as 0 0.025. Now this is a standard normal curve. The mean is zero, sigma is one, and you paste means enter and enter. Bring your cursor on paste and hit enter and enter. So let's do that. Second verse three in non area is 0 0.025, mean is zero, standard deviation is one, paste, enter and enter. And this minus Z alpha by two, which we will need in this problem is minus 1.96. Okay, by symmetry, Z alpha by two is positive 1.96. Actually, we will need this value in the in the formula. So let me create some space for myself. Okay, so my N then equal to z alpha by 2 I have shown is 1.96 multiplied by sigma okay what is my sigma is three inches okay and what is my margin of error is one okay if the uh, if we want to be 95 percent confident that the sample mean is within one so that means uh, E is equal to X bar minus population. This is sample mean minus population mean. Population mean. And that is equal to one. And sigma is already given as three. And Z alpha by two we just found out is 1.96. So how do I do this calculation? I will, in the calculator, I will type it just like it is in the book and you have to square it, don't forget that. Okay, square it. So, left parenthesis, 1.96 multiplied by three, and then you can divide by one, and then put the right parenthesis back, then press the X square key, gives you the exponent, and you are going to round it off to the next nearest whole number. So let's see what happens. So n now becomes equal to 1.96. So in the parenthesis, left parenthesis, do not forget the left parenthesis. 1.96 times 3 divided by 1, right parenthesis, and then press the x square button, gives you the exponent 2 on top of the right parenthesis and hit enter. The answer comes out as 34.57, but we round it always to the next higher number. So the minimum sample size necessary is 35. Minimum sample size necessary. Necessary is equal to 35. 
Okay. It's not 34.57. We always round it up to the next higher number. I'll stop here today. If you have any question, comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And um, if you like this video, share it with your friends. And you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll come back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.